successful is a joint effort between Cal Poly Pomona and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo to build one float for the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade. The Rose Parade is internationally televised every New Year's Day from Pasadena, California to roughly 100 million television viewers worldwide. Building a better mousetrap. A clever tribute to American know-how from Cal Poly University. This entry was built by students on campuses in Pomona and San Luis Obispo. The amazing part about that exposure is the Super Bowl level television advertising that we're talking about for two universities and for these students to be able to create something and build something and then be able to call, you know, grandma and grandpa in the Midwest or something like that and say, turn on your television. I built that. I worked on that project. There's usually between 40 and 50 floats in every New Year's Day parade and all but six of them are built by professional float builders. There are five volunteer communities that get together and then Cal Poly student built floats. Cal Poly has been making floats since 1949. The floats throughout the years have greatly changed as basically the heart of the parade has changed over time. The floats have gotten more extravagant and more artistic. Last year we're super proud of the fact that we won the Extraordinaire Award. We have a winner. It's called the Extraordinaire Trophy and it is Quite frankly, simply put, the most extraordinary float. This is one of the top awards. The top award is called the Sweepstakes Award. It's never been won by a self-built float. It's only ever been won by a professional. This award is considered just underneath that. Getting something that we never really thought we could achieve has really inspired us to set our sights even higher. We started our concept contest in January where we collected concepts from the community and our team. This year's concept is basically submarine discovery underwater. It's a lot of fun with different sea creatures and lots of fun underwater things. Cal Poly is kind of known for our more fun cartoony floats and so we're excited to play around with something a little bit more elegant this year. We took our general concept design and worked that into a scale drawing and what that does is tells us where everything goes, how big it should be, and we can work back and forth so that we make sure everything will fit together nicely once we put the halves together and start building up. We have the submarine that's in the back of the rendering and we're going to put that up 25, 30 feet in the air and so that has to be able to move down so that the top of it is below 16 and a half feet so that we don't hit things like bridges or traffic lights and whatnot. Uh, Walter Triggs said this year's San Luis Obispo construction chair is going to be the driver of this year's float. It's a little nerve wracking but it's going to be fun. I'm excited and the nice thing for the most part is I don't have to worry about where the float is most of the time since I have a navigator as well. And so he does all the hand controls to tell me where to turn the wheel, how fast to move, which direction. By October 20th, our half of the float is put on a truck, trucked down to the Cal Poly Pomona campus, and our student team will travel every single weekend for the rest of the fall quarter to work on it down there as the two halves come together and we begin to complete this 55-foot masterpiece. Just before Christmas, we'll move the float from the Pomona campus to the city of Pasadena. Then we'll be back at 7 a.m. on December 26th to start the decorations and now's when all the, the flowers start to come on and it's the final push before the parade on New Year's Day. 